Understanding the phrase, harps on about. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of a very interesting English phrase, harps on about. This phrase is commonly used in both spoken and written English, and understanding it can really enhance your conversational skills. Let's explore what it means to harp on about something. The phrase harps on about is an idiomatic expression in English. To harp on about something means to talk or complain about a subject repeatedly and often in a way that is annoying to others. The origin of this phrase is quite interesting. It comes from the idea of continuously playing a single string on a harp, which can become monotonous or irritating. In conversation, when someone harps on about something, they are essentially focusing on one topic excessively. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. My boss always harps on about being punctual, but never mentions the good work we do. During family dinners, my uncle can't stop harping on about politics. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe someone who persistently talks about a specific subject, often to the annoyance of others. It's useful to know some synonyms or similar expressions. These include dwelling on, focusing on something for a long time, going on about, talking about something repeatedly. Beating a dead horse, an American idiom with a similar meaning, though it implies that the topic is already settled or resolved. When using harps on about, remember, it's often used in a slightly negative or critical context. Be mindful of the tone when using it, it's not typically used in formal situations. It's more common in British English than in American English. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, harps on about. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions is a great way to sound more natural in English. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use this phrase when the situation arises. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.